Hello viewers, welcome to TV Martha. In our today's session, we shall be talking about question number two for the Wakisha 2025. The question says, given that the roots of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0, uh, alpha and beta, we need to find the equation whose roots are alpha and negative beta. So let us look at the solution. Now, given the roots, given the roots, alpha and beta, so from the given equation, we can obtain the sum of the roots and we can also obtain the product of the roots. So the sum, if we are talking about the sum of the roots, uh, that is same as having alpha plus beta, and that is the negative value of the coefficient of x. So that is negative of 3. Then product of the roots, product of the roots, that is alpha beta will be same as this value here, the constant value, that is negative 10. So looking at uh, these two equations, we can easily get the values for alpha and beta. Then we shall be in position to form an equation whose roots are alpha and negative beta. So let us call this one equation 1 and this one equation number 2. So from 2, from 2 we can obtain alpha in terms of beta as negative 10 out of beta. And we shall substitute this, substitute alpha into equation number 1. When we do that, it means where there is alpha, we shall put this. And that is negative 10 over beta plus beta, which is equal to negative 3. We shall multiply through by beta, and that is negative 10 plus beta squared, which is equal to minus 3 beta. Looking at this, this is actually a quadratic equation. So let us try to rearrange and have beta squared plus 3 beta minus 10, which is equal to 0. So I hope at the moment everyone should be in position to solve this given equation. So solving this equation here, we should be able to get beta as 2 or beta as negative 5. So when you try to solve this, you should be able to come up to this given point. So we have got two values of beta, so we can go, uh, go on and obtain the values for alpha. So from this given equation, which we can call equation star, uh, from star, we can see that if beta is equal to 2, then alpha will be negative 10 upon 2, and that is negative 5. If beta is equal to negative 5, alpha will be equal to alpha will be equal to negative 10 divided by negative 5, and this will be positive 2. So now let us look at how best we can get the equation which is having roots alpha and negative beta. So let us consider for the new equation. For the new equation, let us consider when alpha is equal to 2 and when beta is equal to negative 5. If alpha, you consider this, is equal to 2 and beta is equal to negative 5, what will be the equation? So we know that the equation is of the form x squared minus sum of the roots. Then in 2x plus product of the roots, which must be equal to 0. So for that case, uh, we shall have alpha plus a negative beta. These are our new roots, so the sum will be, uh, this is representing the sum of the roots. So that will be alpha, that is 2, plus negative, negative 5. And this will give us 7. So the sum of the roots will be 7. Then the product is alpha times negative beta. And this will be same as 2 times negative of negative 5. And this will give us 10. So we have got uh, the sum of the roots as 7 and the product of the roots as a 10. So what will be the equation? Therefore, the equation will be x squared minus sum of the roots, which is 7, x, then product of the roots, which will be 10. And this is equal to z. So this will be uh, the equation whose roots are alpha and negative beta. But that is for the case when beta is equal to negative 5 and when alpha is equal to 2. We also have another case when beta is 2, when beta is equal to 2, and alpha is equal to negative 5. 
So we need to obtain the equation whose roots are for the equation whose roots are beta equaling to 2 uh, alpha and negative beta. This is what we are interested in. So for that case, let us look at this. This will be same as for the sum of the roots. For the sum of the roots, uh, we shall have alpha plus negative beta. But what is alpha is negative 5. And what is beta? Beta is negative. So that will be negative beta. So that will be negative 2. And this will give us negative 7. Likewise, for the product of roots, we shall be multiplying alpha with negative beta. And this will be same as alpha is negative 5. And then times negative beta, which is negative 2. And this will give us 10. So the equation is, the equation will be x squared minus the sum of the roots negative 7 into x plus the product which is 10 and this is equal to 0. So finally this will give us x squared plus 7x plus 10 which is equal to 0. Yeah.